Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at how to configure a site language in Hugo. We're also looking at how to display the site language in the HTML tag. Let's get started. For this video, you need to have the latest version of Hugo set up and also Visual Studio Code. If you need help with that, I've got a link to the video above. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to change the language for RSS feeds, how to set the site default language, and how to display the language code in the HTML tag. Before we start, a quick message from this video sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my links below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare and there are many other great teachers on Skillshare ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the links below to explore my courses and get a one month free trial. You can cancel at any time. You'll also be supporting this channel. To get started with today's tutorial, you'll need to follow the link below in the description to this code on GitHub. Once you've navigated to the page, there's a code button and you easiest way to do it is to download the zip file. If you're more experienced, you could clone the repository or open it with GitHub. So once you've got the code open in Visual Studio Code, the first thing we'll do is we'll go about displaying the site language in the HTML tag. So if you go into the layouts folder and then the underscore default folder and then baseof.html, go to the HTML tag and type in lang equals and then put in some double curly braces and we're looking for dot language with capital L, dot lang with a capital L, and that will display the language code. So we'll save that, and then we're on the terminal, and we'll run Hugo server. Control click on the link, and we'll right click and inspect. And if you look at the HTML tag, you'll see the lang defaults to en. Let's go about changing that, and it is a little bit complex. So in the Hugo, Docs page for site configuration. If you look at languages, there is an option for language code, but that's only for the RSS template. We'll get to that later. It doesn't actually help with what we're trying to achieve here. So if we go to languages, it says we have to configure languages. And that brings us to a page for multilingual mode. And that's a little bit confusing, but what we have to do, I have to set up a default content language and defaults to EN, and that's what's currently being displayed. But if we change that, we can actually proceed without any further configuration. Ideally, you would set up a block for the language and you'd put further details in, such as the name of the language and the weight. But if you've only got one language, all we have to do is the following configuration. So let's go and set that up. So we'll go into the config.yaml file and at the bottom of the file, make sure you're backspace so you're up against the left hand side of the page. We don't want any indentation. We'll put in default content language and it has to be in lowercase. So we'll do en gb, for example, for British English. And then we'll save that and we'll have a look at the site. So now our language code's coming in as British English. Normally you'd put the GB in capital letters, but unfortunately Hugo only works in lowercase letters. And according to the HTML spec, it doesn't matter whether it's capitalized or in lowercase. And the next thing we're concerned about is seeing language code, and that's for the RSS template. Now, if you want RSS to output in English, you don't have to touch that. But for example, if you're trying to output your RSS in, say, French, for example, we'd have to set that language code. So say, for example, we we're going to use French. And we could set our language code to French as well for the XML output. So currently, we've got our language as French. And let's go ahead and run Hugo to compile the site. And we'll check out the XML output with the RSS feed. So open up a new terminal and then run the Hugo command, that will compile the site. Then I'll look in the public folder and open up the index.xml file, that's the RSS feed. And now you see the language is being set to fr. That's based on the last configuration we did of language code. Don't confuse that with default content language. I'm going to put a quick comment on that and then we'll put a comment on the site default language, just so it's nice and clear. So that's it for this video. If you're only configuring your site with one language, that's all you have to do. It's that easy. Remember, if you like my videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button to get regular updates as I release videos every week. Otherwise, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you in the next one.